Originally, the hated Washu was supposed to join me on this little uh, rambling rant, but we could never get the, um, we could never, get, none of us had like the spare time for us to do it together. Our schedule is all kinds of screwed up, and um, I could, um, uh, I'm not where he is at the moment, and and he barely logs on to Skype, so we can't do this uh, via audio call. Um, be a lot easier on my behalf if we did that way. But since it was the holiday season, and I did want to talk about this, I really wish I did something like what I just mentioned, or a text, well, a scripted review like my writing bean OVA that I uploaded about a week ago. I want to do something like that, but. It would have taken a lot of time, and I really didn't have a much, uh, a lot of time this week. Uh, I was goofing around and came back from a Christmas Eve party, and it's late, and I don't want to spend all night on uh, just reviewing it. You must know what I'm talking about. Since it was the holiday season, I did want to talk about It's a Date, My Santa. Also, it's translated as Always My Santa. You can tell by the art style, it's a... Uh, it's an anime based off of a Ken Akamatsu manga. Ken Akamatsu being famous for both Love Hina and Negima. And if people know me, they will know that I actually do like Negima, the manga. Hated the first anime series. I actually like the second anime series. Um, did not see the recent OVAs. But everyone knows me as the guy who really hates Love Hina. Um... Basically, because the two protagonists are unlikable, and Naru's a bitch, and Kitaro's a loser. But it's not in my Santa. Um, like I said, it was a two-episode OVA. It was based off of a manga. Um, I think it was like only one volume. It wasn't that long, um, because the second episode actually is actually a completely original written story for the series, but it's about this character named Santa. And he got the name because he was born on Christmas Eve. However, Christmas time has never been a really good time for him. Like, his family never comes to visit him. Uh, he only gets, like, a cake from his grandmother. He, he just hates Christmas. And and uh, and this girl named Mai shows up, tells tells uh, Santa that she's Santa Claus. She's trying to bring joy to all the world or whatever. She's actually a Santa Claus in training. Um, it's your typical. It's the formula of most Christmas stories that I've seen, like Christmas Carol and the Grinch. Some dude is in a pissy mood in Christmas. Something happens in that person's life, um, gets his mood change, gets their mood changed about Christmas, and they're happy, and everyone's happily ever uh, after the end. And this anime does follow the same formula for the first episode, which is okay. I don't want to spend that much time talking about the first episode because, to be honest, I do like this. I do like uh, the first episode. It only cost me ten bucks, so. Uh, and I think that's how much it should be worth. It's a it's a anime that was licensed by Funimation, by the way. But I did show this to my anime club, and it got a mixed bag, mostly negative reactions, probably because it feels so fast paced, so rushed. If they were to stretch the first episode into an uh, about thirty more minutes or to an hour, it would have been a little uh, a lot better. But, actually, it did feel rushed. Like, like Mai shows up, some crazy things happen, uh, Santa brings Mai to the apartment, uh, Santa explains uh, who, um, his deal with Christmas, Mai explains wh who she is, Santa and Train, whatever. She's a horrible Santa and Train, by the way. She When she tries to use magic uh, powers, she can only do... Um, she can only like summon things with sa and uh and them like salmon or sambo or something like that. What else do I want to talk about? 
Yeah, it just felt very rushed. But it was okay. At first, I thought it was going to suck balls. Because after Santa, like, opens up it, uh, with the narration, like, Mai shows up and says, you want to uh, wanna come with me or whatever, have a good time. And she does this, like, in the middle of a busy street crowd. And everyone looks at them like, oh, this is, this is, this is totally inappropriate. Mai sees her surroundings and beats up Santa for no reason. So I had a love Hina Vietnam flashback. I pause the video and try to run away. But the hey wash you brought me back and we decided to continue watching it. I was annoyed by the voice acting in English, but it's probably not the English script writer's fault. It, they are very well following it close to the original Japanese script. But really eventually it did grow on me and um with um the episode ends like like Santa Santa gets a kiss by uh, from Mai, and for some reason, her magic like transfers to Santa, and uh, Santa like things st good things start happening for Santa. Like um, his friends actually invite him over for a Christmas party, whatever. Um, Santa decides to go. Mai's a little upset. Santa chews him off because he still doesn't believe that she is a Sa Santa Claus or she's uh, from Santa's workshop or whatever. However, um, he when he showed up at the party, he did came to that realization. He does believe it, but I for I forgot what uh, what drove him to that motivation. Maybe it was some something somebody said at the party. He goes back. He kisses uh, my back. Uh, she he kisses my. She gets her power his powers back, and she transforms from this almost childish figure. To this voluptuous blonde hair, blue eyes, uh, Santa Claus. Like, okay, let me show you the DVD cover to give you an example. See, this is where's my finger? Eh. See, this is my is what she looked like most of the OVA. Now, when she does become like when she does get her like her Santa powers back near the end of the OVA, she becomes this busty blonde, uh, blonde hair, blue eyed chick, and then. She help, She uh, starts sending gris Christmas gifts to wherever location, uh, to the location she has to go, and bring Santa with him. And it turns out the reason why Santa's parents never come to visit him on Christmas is because they're busy working at an orphanage. Oh man, I'm sorry. I forgot to warn you about the spoilers. Oh, that was fucked up of me. And um. I was good. It was a good. It was a decent first episode. I had no problems. Can't really recommend it to you guys because I'm a very lenient person. I don't want to hate a lot of anime, and I especially don't want to hate recent ones like every other old school anime fan's been doing um, as of late. So yeah, despite its flaws, I liked it. The second OVA, on on the other hand, oh, it was annoying. It was really annoying. They introduced like three new characters. One of them is Sherry, this twin-tailed blonde uh, girl who apparently grew up at the same uh, village with uh, Mai, and they have some sort of rival rival friendship thing going on. And every time she use, uh, summons magic abilities, she shouts gorgeous, and it gets on my effing nerves really quickly, especially when they start doing some sort of magic battle, which was completely fucking pointless. How do you win that? Then Mai's little sister, Mai Mai, and by the way, they actually spell her name as Mai, M-A-I, square root. I shit you not. And another girl named Miss Noel, who only shows up for two scenes, and uh, she's got to be the biggest idiot out there. Um, well, anyway, in this plot, something about too many Santas in a certain location, so Mai apparently has to leave by Christmas Eve, and Sherry actually tries to help Mai by, um, by trying to get her to confess uh, her feelings towards Santa. And... Sherry is full of exposition. She won't shut the hell up. She just won't shut up. Like, she would always say, Oh, no! 
There's like, t uh, there oh no, it's almost midnight. That will be Christmas time and she'll be forced to leave. I gotta do something. I gotta get her to confess. And she just constantly says this all the time. Especially near the end of the episode. Now, um, in between, like, uh, before the very ending, like, she tries to get my little sister out of the way so my and Santa can have some alone time. And the way she does this, it's apparently a running gag. And I use that term loosely. She, um, she tries, she gets my, she basically sneaks up and takes her away and my bites Sherry. It was not funny. I couldn't laugh at that. And it kind of made Sherry look like a child abductor. Well, anyway. You know like you know what I said about the first episode feeling rushed and almost fast forwarded? At the very end. It felt long and drawn out full of dialogue. So I was like, oh, please end this episode already. It's giving me a headache. Because they just, now now my nor Santa won't shut up about the whole confession of feelings thing. At the ending, after the ending credits, it turns out my, it was a misunderstanding. That girl I mentioned before, Noel, she was like working at some, um, at some sushi bar at the beach, my Caesar. Noel actually says, "By the way, uh, my you have to get uh, you have to return to the shop uh, at the end uh, before what was it before Christmas Eve or after Christmas Eve around Christmas time." So she specified that she had to go several times in the scene. But then after the credits, she comes back, she has my like, picked up around, and he's like, is this some kind of joke? Throws my to Santa, and it turns out she needed to bring my Mai. She couldn't tell the fucking difference! When my is, like, this tall, and my Mai is literally... Okay, you can't see it, but she's about the height of Yoda, okay? Ugh, and I would spend more time rambling about this, but I definitely want to keep this a one-part video in under the 15-minute length. But it was, it was a dumb second episode. I mean, the first episode wasn't that great. I know a lot of people won't like it right off the bat. But the second episode was total garbage. Almost maybe took up cigarette smoking as a habit afterwards. That's how bad it was. Oh, um, before I end this video, this is just something I want to throw out there. Um... I've seen a lot of Christmas specials and a lot of Christmas uh, episodes to shows. They never mention how Christmas was formed or it had something to do with Jesus, the birth of Jesus Christ, as most people would know from common knowledge about Christmas. This anime actually briefly mentions it in the first episode, which kind of surprised me because, like I said, a lot of Christmas specials I've seen... Not all of them, I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of the ones I've seen do seem to brush over that part. They always talk about families and giving gifts, being selfless, whatever, but they never mention the Jesus part. That seems to be overlooked a lot. So yeah, maybe next year I'll re-review this and do it a little more professionally, uh, just like my Writing B OVA review. But I did want to get some sort of Christmas video out of the way, and I thought talking about this OVA would be pretty good. Like I said, I picked it up for $10. I don't think I can find... I couldn't find that right stuff. I picked it up at some anime store um, next to a play and trade. And, uh, like I said, the first episode was pretty good. I might watch it again during Christmas time. Uh, second episode was... terrible. Um... If you're in the mood for a Christmas special, I, I do say at least give the first episode a look or find a DVD or whatever. That's that's as high as my recommendation can go. Um, but if you're like a big Ken Akamatsu hater or whatever, this show won't change your mind. If you're like a diehard Ken Akamatsu fan, if you actually put up with the Love Hina anime, then I do recommend this one if you haven't heard about it yet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog rambling review of mine. Leave a comment if you wish, Darkscream217, signing out, and I wish you all Merry Christmas.